not shingle mountain for obvious reasons. Uh, this is actually a shingle recycling facility. These shingles have been stripped from homes and businesses throughout the Denver area and brought here to store until they can be uh, uh, until they can be uh, chopped up for recycling and made into fresh asphalt. Um, what we see here, of course, is for the community members quite an eyesore, but also a potential fire hazard uh, and also an environmental hazard. This is being moved around. There's asbestos materials and other types of uh, uh, metals and, um, and uh, organics that uh, are coming loose, getting into the air. And um, on a rainy day, washing right off into the street here and toward the Platte River, which is about 1,100 feet away. Um, one of the concerns that we have is when it does wash off in the rain and doesn't make it to the Platte River and instead dries on the street, uh, when these trucks come through here, which there's a, quite a few of, they're lifting this asbestos back into the air and causing, uh, causing some real concerns for uh, the health of uh, local residents and children. Just uh, some very stunned neighbors came up to me and said, have you seen the mountain of shingles? And I, I thought, you know, what are you talking about? Um, and I drove by and I saw this and it is pretty much the way that it appeared a year ago nothing has really changed and there's just so many questions about it um, questions that you know we're we're kind of lay people we don't know there are health questions uh, there are groundwater questions um, weight, um, uh, stormwater and um, health questions there are fire questions what happens if it catches fire um, air quality uh, questions um, uh, what happens, if, what about the presence or possible presence of asbestos? Um, since many of the shingles, uh, I, to me, I would suspect that there's probably asbestos there. Um, you know, when people take out roofs, they may be taking off several layers, and they could have, uh, one of the lower layers could be back, you know, f be very old from wh when uh, asbe asbestos shingles were used. So there's that. What does that do to the air quality? What happens in the case of winds, in rain, in the snow? Um, where does the runoff go? Well, I think that the city definitely needs to make sure that proper permits are in place um, and that the operator is following best practices. And if it's not, they need to shut it down. <laughs> you know, they can't just allow it to operate and give it continuous extensions and extensions and allow it to continue to pollute the river and the neighborhood and have an adverse effect on this community. Well, if he doesn't do anything within the 60 days, uh, we're going to file a federal lawsuit here uh, in the U.S. District Court uh, of Colorado in Denver. And we're going to ask the judge to order him to address this pile. And what we mean by addressing it is to get it down below this fence, fix this fence up, so you don't have the exposure uh, onto the streets and to cover it with uh, some type of a, a shed. Um, keep the rainwater from getting to it in the first place. To me, I mean, it just appears scandalous.